Hello folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Brecon Beacons. I'm in a National Trust car park just south of Brecon and just north of Penny Van and Corn D. And I'm here today to do a wild camp at the location of my first ever wild camp about 35 years ago. It's a remnants of a, of a glacial lake from the Ice Age and it's called Klim Kum Flak, I think. My apologies to the um, Welsh viewers here for massacring their language, but I'm sure you know uh, which little lake I need. Um, it's quite blowy today, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like. It's going to be dark in about an hour, so I really need to get cracking because I've got about three and a bit miles walk, I think, to get to my campsite. So, um, yeah, I'm going to press on now. I'll catch up with you in a bit. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video, then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there. But in the meantime, let's crack on with this video. From the car park that I started off from, you'd uh, normally climb up Penny Van and then walk across to Corn Dew and then drop down to the little glacial lake and then back to the car park making a nice loop. But I haven't got enough uh, daylight left to do that. So I'm just going to go straight to the, the lake which unfortunately involves a little bit of road walking albeit it's a very very narrow road and uh, yeah maybe half the walk a mile and a bit or something is uh, is on a little country lane uh, and I'm seeing a lot of people coming the other way who's obviously been up today and they're uh, almost finishing their walk but uh, yeah it's very nice I must say I've got a feeling that the uh, first time I came here, uh, like 35 years ago, was uh, I parked here, I think, with my mate. Um, I think it might be a campsite in the summer, but it looks like people are parking up a little bit and the odd camper van here. I reckon up there is uh, where I'm headed. Looks a little bit claggy, but not too bad. where I'm off to. Nearly there, I hope. I think that means I'm nearly here. Hopefully just over that little crest there and I'll be able to see the the lake. God, well thank goodness for that. I actually don't think I could have gone on much more. I could do with better fitness I think but anyway there's the, the lake, so it's dead windy. I'm going to try and find a little flat spot, get the tent pitched up before it gets dark. Uh, yeah. I think this spot here is going to have to do. Uh, there's quite a few flat bits, but it's quite boggy. And uh, there's somebody camped 100 meters or so behind me and there's some more people over there as well but yeah I'm gonna get pitched up now before it gets too dark well I just about got um, pitched up before it got completely dark um, it was fairly exciting trying to put the Hilleberg tent up without being able to see properly it's the first time I've uh, I've sort of done that but it was relatively straightforward um, it's quite windy and the wind keeps changing directions which made it quite hard for me to figure out what orientation I should put this tent in um, but in the end I've settled for where the wind seems to be coming from the most and hopefully that will be that will be all right so I'm uh, nicely settled in the tent now I've got changed out of all my gear that I was uh, walking in and uh, yeah got completely fresh base layer on which feels really nice got a pair of uh, floofy heat holder socks which are warming my feet up already uh, 
rab insulated jacket and I've also got a new bit of kit um, which are basically uh, down trousers sort of puffy pants if you like they're um, they're rab ones are gone I think they are um, and I got them partly for sitting around in tents because it's always quite cold but also I figured they'd be uh, quite good for astrophotography because you spend a lot of time outside it's in sub-zero temperatures in the winter um, and at the moment I've got them on and over a little base like that and uh, yeah they're uh, really really warm so um, I'm quite toasty at the moment I'll start thinking about getting some tea so well I'm looking forward to this spicy sausage pasta with a nice hot chocolate because it's getting a bit chilly now you know sometimes when you go um, wild camping you get beautiful sunsets or lovely sunrises you get to sit outside your tent and um, enjoy a lovely evening and I have had one or two of those this year but not very many and this one this camp here is um, one of those where what you hope for doesn't necessarily transpire the uh, weather forecast was such that it was supposed to be clear uh, up here today and uh, since I'm in the Brecon Beacons I was hoping to make the most of the lovely dark skies here and get a bit of time-lapse sort of star photography with the lovely lit up tent in the foreground and the stars moving across the sky behind it and of course it's cloudy <laughs> Uh, which is usually the way um, but nonetheless you know I, even though I'd say you know at least half the time I come out um, the conditions are fairly poor uh, I still really enjoy it the, I really like kind of being inside the tent listening to the wind buffeting around you once you're satisfied that your tent's um, not going to collapse or leak um, I always feel quite safe when I've um, done the tent up. I'm, I'm in my own little world, nice and comfortable. So I don't think it's actually that cold outside today. I think um, it is if you stand out there because the, um, the wind chill's quite high. But um, the still air temperature is probably not too bad at all. And... Um, in the tent I'm quite toasty I mean this is a, a winter tent so it's going to be quite warm anyway but um, I've got quite a lot of bits of door and stuff open for ventilation uh, yeah my uh, rab puffy pants are doing a grand job I'm dead toasty in them so I'm very pleased with with them I kind of can't believe I've gone so many years without actually buying a pair of down trousers uh, they're making all the difference so I don't have to get into my uh, my sleeping bag quite yet of course it's uh, being winter time you've got really long nights and um, it's about yeah it's not even eight o'clock yet and I've had my dinner and everything I'm wondering what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening I've um, got a little glass of wine with me that I'm going to have in a minute um, and a little bit of uh, of a nice chocolate bar that, that'll be my pudding but um, I've got no signal up here so uh, my normal sources of entertainment are uh, like watching other people's YouTube videos and stuff I'm a bit at, at a loss for so um, yeah I can see me um, packing it in and going to bed at nine o'clock tonight or something but um, yeah any, anyway it's absolutely great to be out um, nice and safe inside my tent uh, I look forward to getting some decent views tomorrow uh, hopefully it won't be raining because um, I haven't really been able to get much uh, you know nice views and stuff because it was uh, it was getting dark as I was pitching the tent so I've just been out to check all my guy lines make sure they're still all all right um, had a quick peer up at the sky but it's still cloudy so I'm going to abandon any thoughts of um, star time lapses and stuff so um, yeah I'm just gonna relax now for an hour or so and then I'll probably call it a day I notice uh, that there was two other people while camping uh, here when I turned up 
but it looks like one of them has uh, has bailed out and, and gone back down again. Uh, it was quite windy earlier on, but ironically it seems to be settling down a bit now and um, by and large coming from one direction instead of sort of buffeting from all round. So um, probably if they'd sat it out for another few hours, they would have been all right. But um, as ever, it's uh, better safe than sorry. I'm quite happy in my tent. Um, it's intended to cope with high winds and things. So I think what's um, been going on today is nothing to to bother this tent at all. And as I say, it seems to be uh, quietening down a little bit. Famous last words, of course. But um, yeah, so I'm going to largely call it a day and I'll bring you back in the morning unless something disastrous happens. <laughs> Morning folks, well you can see a little bit better where I am now, um, it was a pretty windy night last night, uh, it died off a bit kind of up till maybe 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, something like that, and then it started to get really windy again for a couple of hours, um, but yeah, it was alright, I mean I could have done with a bit more sleep, a lot of people use earplugs I think, um, but I tend to like to know what's going on around me um, but yeah overall it wasn't too bad my spot wasn't kind of what would be an ideal pitch it's a little bit boggy where I am but somebody else has nabbed the the best pitch here um, but, and it was in fact the one that I used years ago um, but no water came up through the the bottom of the tent at all so I'm uh, very pleased with that and I wasn't using a ground sheet either Right, that's it, all packed up. Uh, usual rules apply. Just a bit of flattened grass left, that's all to show I was ever here. And uh, yeah, time to crack on back to the car. Well, it looks like it's a beautiful morning down there in the, uh, in the valleys. I look forward to getting into a little bit of sun because it's a little bit chilly up here. But um, yeah, it's a absolutely cracking day. I'm um, a bit jealous of anybody who's uh, going up Penny Van today. There's a couple of little ants that I can see who have made a dead early start. It's only about eight o'clock now. Um, so uh, yeah, they're obviously trying to get up there before the crowds. But um, yeah, what a day to be out. One thing that uh, struck me this morning <coughs> when I took the tent down was that I had absolutely no condensation in the tent at all, both on the inner or the outer. Uh, which is really weird. Um, maybe it was just too windy. Perhaps that was drying it off before it had the chance to sort of settle. But uh, yeah, that was a pleasant surprise to be able to put the tent away bone dry. Um, I was on, you know, boggy ground as well, which usually doesn't help with the condensation issue, particularly if you're not using a a separate ground sheet but yeah so overall I was very pleased with that and uh, practicing putting the Hilleberg up in the dark which uh, at least it's an easy tent to put up so that wasn't too difficult and uh, it stood up there was quite a lot of buffeting going on last night but uh, it stood up to it really well so uh, overall I'm dead chuffed with that I didn't feel remotely concerned uh, at any time. I noticed the uh, other guy who was camped there in a bright red tent, I think his tent was a, a Berghaus tent. I saw him getting his breakfast this morning as I was packing up and leaving. So uh, he obviously survived the night okay as well. So that's all good. And probably that 
tent that abandoned it yesterday that I saw pitching up and then they disappeared. Initially I thought maybe it was a mistake for them to go because it perked up a bit for a few hours but um, given the buffeting of the wind in the early hours of the morning maybe that was the right thing for them to do after all even though it meant coming down in the dark but yeah nice uh, thing to come back and remember my first ever wild camp uh, after all these years hello sheepy yeah it's all right well that's it i'm back at the car now it's um just gone half past nine so it's not too bad uh i'm absolutely starving now i just had a couple of like breakfast brunch bars for breakfast and that was it so um, I'm going to try and see if I can find myself a cooked breakfast now. So on that cheery note, I'll thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, following me on the trip and I'll see you next time. Take care. Cheerio.